EX Fleet Cards. To access cards in the system, go to the Cards tab and click on Driver Vehicle Records. These are cards that were already entered into the organization. You've got a record number, name, account they're in, short name, the type of driver or vehicle, the status which is either valid or not valid. If you want to edit a card, you can click the pencil icon under the Manage column. These are all the details for a driver or vehicle. We'll click back to go back to the cards page. If you want to delete a card, you can click the trash icon under Manage. You get a warning letting you know that the system won't fully delete the card. It will archive them so you can still pull up transactions at a later date. Press Delete to archive the card. You also have the option to validate the cards with the FSC, which will update in real time. You can also view the latest transactions for that card. We're going to create a new card by clicking the plus icon on the top left. Enter a unique number for the driver ID. The account configure controls will allow the card to adhere to restrictions from an account. We can select the account we created before and now this card will be locked down by the account restrictions. We won't be able to change the restrictions on this card record. Go ahead and put the driver's name, cell phone, here a country code is not necessary. The FSC presented media is the identifier the driver or vehicle will enter into the fit to fuel. Either a magstripe card, chip key, RFID tag, or a keypad entry number. Under fuel zones you can select which site you want the driver or vehicle to fill at, or you can select all sites. The system will let you know if there's something you need to fill in with an error message. We will put Rick K for the short name. Click Save. And we can find the new card on the last page. Here's our new card. You can see the record number, name, account, short name, that it's a driver card, and it is valid. Let's create a vehicle card by clicking the plus icon on the top left. Here you can select vehicle. Just below are additional options. We'll select allow odometer entry. We'll give it an ID. Give it the name small truck. If you have any media, you'd enter that number here. Select an account that the card will be associated with. We'll give it the short name SM Truck. For quantity restrictions, we'll set it to 45 gallons. No product restrictions. And we'll allow it to be filled at all sites. And then you can click Save. If you go to the last page, you'll see the new small truck card here, and it is entered as a vehicle. And that's cards in DX Fleet.